I'm in Dynamics 365 here. Let's have a look at a workspace, which is the purchase order receive and follow up workspace. And specifically, there's a tab here uh, for a list that says registered not received orders. So how do orders get on this list? So let's go and have a look at it. I've put in a couple of purchase orders and simply confirm them. So uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 60 is the first one. You'll see that it's confirmed. Now this will be one way and then I've got another order in then I'll show you another way that we can get it to the received uh, status so I'm going to go into received and I'm going to go and do a product receipt and as part of that process we could put in a receipt number if we want um, but I'm going to come down and just collapse the overview and come down to the lines and you'll see in the update um, update lines I've got a registration option so I'm going to go and register and each of these orders just have one so what I'm essentially doing is saying um, adding the registration line to say that we're registering this product has come in but we're not officially receiving it yet so we've got some visibility to it so I'm going to confirm the registration uh, in the system so now we've got the product which is registered and so what I can do now is not post the actual receipt yet for example um, so I might have done this by uh, accident for example I might have cancelled the receipt but I've done the registration so if we have a look back at our workspace so the purchase order receipt if I have a look at the registered not received orders then I've got my number 60 on there so let's have a look at another one so this one is the number 61 order but I'm going to do this one in a different way I'm going to go into inventory management and I'm going to go into my journal entries and then my item arrival so I can do an item arrival journal here to register inventory as well so I'm going to come here and pick a warehouse arrival journal and I can specify the purchase order here so here I can say US 102 and if we look at the purchase orders there's my number 61 here so basically I'm saying that I'm registering material as being come in might be sitting on the dock for example um, and needs to do some additional processing so I'll put in my warehouse and in this case I'm not creating any picking there's no quarantine so I'm turning off that parameter so we'll say OK and so what I can do is add a line here and I'll add it for the product and it's simply one because that's all I've got there so when I hit uh, post here uh, that's essentially going to post a registration for that product um, as well for that purchase order so if I now go and have a look at my workspace purchase order receipt and follow up registered but not received now I'm going to have my order 60 and 61 so they're sitting there we can go and do a receipt now that would move them to the next stage of inventory but that's a quick look at how do we get or, or how do orders get and what status they're in to be on this registered but not received list